He is a fine, fine player. Ross Green did not apparently get the flip. Oh, he's in trouble tonight. Hey, Jack Cornell, speaking of big guys, throwing out the opening pitch, the Baltimore Raven offensive lineman and major celebrity in the Gem City signing autographs. Good night for Jack to be there. Q&D alum, fellow Q&D alum, Brandon Lee, awfully good on the hill tonight. How about some great defense, though? The other way, Tara Holtz, Brian Wolf, with a spectacular diving catch, keeping this game in the first inning tied at zeros. Bottom of the fifth with Stuart Levy on third base. Caleb Howell delivers the sack fly for what would be the Gems' only run of the ball game. Tell you what, Brandon Lee pitched incredibly well, went six and a thirds, but ended up with a no decision tonight. And then the Terre Haute Rex destroy the Gems' bullpen. Seven to one would be your final in this ball game on the evening. Let's talk some scores. Let's talk some fun tonight. Actually, we don't have a whole lot of fun to tell you about for the Hannibal Cavemen as they get swept on the road in Danville 5-3 to three in the first game. And in the second game tonight, it ends up being a decision of 3-1. to one. We've got other news and notes to pass along on a very busy night. First of all, some coaching news. Congratulations to Quincy University men's assistant coach John Perry getting a big promotion to Division One. He'll take that same position at the University of the Naval Academy, or just plain Navy, or the Naval Academy, whatever you prefer. He's going to work with his mentor, Ed DeCella, so congratulations to John. Great guy, did a great job for Marty Bell. Also, coaching news today, Seth Klusmeyer has stepped down after a long and successful run as the U Unity Mustangs volleyball coach, great guy, just said there was too much on his plate. He'll be replaced by a Unity alum and a phenomenal young lady in Sarah Stahl who was named to that position tonight. Also, we've got some golf scores to pass along. Three winners today from the area in Bloomington at the Country Youth Classic. Quinn Thomas out of Hannibal doing it again. Finished with a 200 power 30 today. That's very impressive. Also winners from Quincy in the older age groups. In the boys 7B division, Alex Shute of Quincy with a 149 to cap it. And in the women's college division, Rachel Powers playing on her home course at Illinois State. Ends up winning today with a score of 142 as she blistered the field in that one. We've got basketball today. It is the Palmyra Elite Shootout. Quincy High and Palmyra going at it. Palmyra with a 12-point lead in the second half. Quincy High trying to come back. Malik Bonden with the miss. Great rebound right there from the big fella, Connor Mellon, who would find that guy, Lincoln Elby, for the three. And the lead is starting to shrink more from Quincy High School in this one as Luka Radovich comes up with a strong move to the hole in the bucket. Here comes Palmyra, though, back the other direction. It starts with a three-pointer from this guy, Brock Butler, getting it done from distance. And then how about the athletic Caleb Kaiser going to come away with this loose ball, transition at the other end, and just kind of push tempo and get through everybody. Pretty bucket for him at the other end, re-extending the lead. Jordan Knott, boy, he's been good all summer long. Going to do it again here with a couple of buckets as Palmyra gets the win today. Final count this one, 36 728 in favor of the Palmyra Panthers, avenging an earlier loss this summer against Quincy High School. Also today, we've got Knox County and Unity going at it. We'll start you off right here with, oh, that guy, Royce Poor, creating for a teammate. Beautiful whip pass there. But you know what? Knox County had no answer in this one for the big fella, Lane Davis, all six foot five of him, playing as well with his back to the basket as anybody in the Tri States this summer. The big fella's going to be good. Unity led by seven at the half. Never got a final on this one, but I tell you what. Keep an eye out on Lane Davis coming up this winter because he, as you can see right there, is going to be an absolute ton. Hey, tickets on sale online are done at KHQA.com or ConnectTriStates.com, I should say, but you can come to the KHQA studios, still get the $8 price for adults uh, coming up tomorrow, and then tickets at the door, $10 unless you're a student. If you wear your high school football jersey, you get into the game for $7.